the voice, you know, is not supported. It's, these polls are not reflective of the voices on the ground. And the reasons you don't know that is because our voices are constantly silenced. And this is what happens right across the country. We've had enough. We need adequate resources given to Aboriginal people on the ground to manage our own affairs because nothing is going to change unless we change it ourselves. It's meaningless because you know why? It's a voice of no choice. The voice is saying the land want to give it back. It's not telling the truth. There's got to be proper consultation right across the board with all nations, with all law people. You can't just deal with a hand-picked group of people and say they're a representative body before the United Nations and before the world. At the end of the day, we are who we are. We cannot negotiate on sovereignty because our law prevents us from doing that. We come from ancient people. We were born into this movement, I and Jen Munro, all of us, back in 72, the 10 Embassy. So these are families that have lived this their entire lives that were born into this. We just got to do something better. It's time for a real talk, you know. It's time for a proper agreement. It's time for reparations. I'm living on somebody else's country. We're refugees in our own country. It's got to stop. There's got to be a better deal. No more beads and blankets.